Okay, place your paper vertical. Step number one. All of you place your paper vertical, facing towards you. Straight one. Okay, face this towards you. And pick up your scale. Diya, pick up your scale, please. Everybody, we need scale for today's class. Advika, Toshani, everyone be ready. We need a scale for today's class. All of you are placing your paper vertical. First, we are going to mark one geometrical box. So I'm going to give you directions. Use your pencil, okay? Leave about four finger space from top of the page. Okay? All of you leave about four finger space from top of the page. And then place your scale down. Okay? See this way. This is your first step. All of you hold your paper vertical this way and leave four finger space from top of the page. Place your paper vertical, four finger space from top of the page and mark one horizontal line of about 10 centimeters. Okay, you will require, maybe you will require little help from your mom today just to mark this box, okay? 10 centimeters horizontal line. Use your pencils. All of you place your paper vertical. Step number one. Leave four finger space from top of the page. Place your scale down. And mark one horizontal line of 10 centimeters with the help of pencil. We are drawing a beautiful lamp shade today. Lamp shade is today's artwork subject. Okay, children, please keep your cameras on so that I can see all of you are working. All of you place your cameras on. Toshal, Toshani, Diya, Avantika, Shruti. Place your camera on your workstation. Advika, did you finish? Is it done? Okay. Quick repetitions of the steps. Hold your paper vertical. Leave four finger space from top of the page. Place your scale. And first horizontal line of 10 centimeters. Hello, Sri Ram and Harini. One horizontal line of 10 centimeters. This is your step number one. All of you be attentive and look. First line of 10 centimeters after leaving four finger space from top of the page. Now pick up your scale. Yes, correct, Toshal. Perfect. Now you need to place your scale horizontal like this. See, we are marking a beautiful lamp shade today. So leave four finger space from top. Mark one straight line of 10 centimeters. Correct, Neha, perfect. Now place your scale slant and mark one line of 14 centimeters, one, four, 14 centimeters. You will require a little bit of help from your mom just to mark this box. Once this box is done, we will draw design on our own. Okay, little bit of help for this box only. Okay, finished everyone. Slant line of 14 centimeters, one four. Length of the second line is 14. First line is 10. To the other side, same thing you have to do. One more line of 14 centimeters slant line. So what you will get here is kind of a lamp shade. How many of you have seen lamp shades? Raise your hands. Neha is seen, Advik also, Toshani also, yes. Lampshade is the shade that you place next to your bed when you need quick light, right? And those lampshades do have beautiful designs on them. Diya and Avantika, did you both finish till here? If yes, give me a quick thumbs up on your cameras, please. Sriram Harini, how about both of you? Toshani, Neha, Shriyansh, 
social very nice okay good and advik also all right avantika fine not yet done take your time first line of 10 see this line is 10 cm avantika second line is 14 and this line is also 14 and all of you simply close it now bus close it final line no need to measure anything don't measure anything just close it so what you will get here is a shape of your lamp shade just close this line here we are not measuring last line there is no dimension no measurements nothing just close it with a straight line okay again i'm going to repeat first line of 10 this is 14 14 these are two slant lines and finally you just need to close this line perfect advika lovely superb shruti show me your work okay those who have finished show me quick thumbs up okay beautiful design is today's artwork subject okay now let's move to next step are you all ready for next step who's ready toshani toshal श्री राम हरिणी नेहा अद्विका श्रीयांश दिया अवंतिका रेडी ओके सो लैम शेड इज रेडी नाउ वी हैव टू ड्रॉ अ स्टैंड नाउ चेक दिस ओवर हियर आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ ए बेसिक स्टैंड व्हिच इज ए कर्व लाइन इट इज नॉट स्ट्रेट सी इट इज बेंडिंग लाइक दैट लिटिल बिट बेंडिंग okay so distance between these two lines is two finger space see you should have minimum width of two finger space for this stand it is a curved stand and it should be in the center of your lamp shade okay so you have a lamp which is turning diya are you able to understand if yes give me thumbs up and also show me your work in between avantika diya everybody flash your artworks hold your papers up so that i can see okay nice advika nice diya nice toshal very good toshal also neha also good job neha how lovely and shriyansh yes well done good job sriram harini also lovely super toshani and avantika perfect Shruti, show me your work on your camera, please, so that I'll be able to guide you. If you are going wrong, I can tell you corrections. Okay, now will we be able to finish it here? No, you need a smaller stand down, which means you need a smaller structure down. So you add one line, which is horizontal line. One more small stand will come here. Small horizontal line off. Five centimeters. We have a small stand down. This width is five centimeters. You can take help from mom just to mark one small stand here again. Five centimeters horizontal line. Okay, five centimeters. i'm adding a slightly longer line here little bit longer line and connect it like this see like this and like this so you have one more stand here first line is 5 cm okay this line is almost little bigger than that so that you can get two slant lines you can use your scale okay 
you can use your scale to mark this line also, little longer than five centimeters line. So how much longer, maybe seven centimeters here, this bottom line I'm showing you here, it is seven centimeters. See, do you see this line? It is seven centimeters. This is five centimeters and you just connect it with two slant lines. Hello, Vedika. Okay, Vedika over here, as you can see, we are marking a beautiful lampshade. Okay, so for you, I will write dimensions here. This line is 10 centimeters. This is 14 and this is 14. Okay, you leave about four finger space from top of the page. Okay, and then you start with 10 centimeter line, 14, 14, and just connect. Okay, little bit help is required from mom today to mark lampshade for all of you. Good job, Neha, excellent, very nice. And Toshal, did you finish? Finish Toshal? Good, very nice. How about Shriyansh, Advika, Toshani, Sri Ramharini, Diya, Avantika? Yes, Advika, see, draw the stand slightly towards right side, little bit, shift it here, Advika, little bit. This stand, you shift this side, little bit. Perfect, Toshani, well done. Okay, Shruti is saying video is not coming from our side. Okay, fine. Later on, you share your work with me, okay? You can WhatsApp me, Shruti, no problem. Or maybe you can rejoin meeting. Check your Zoom settings. Check your Zoom settings. Maybe your camera is off. Enable that so that we will be able to see. Check your Zoom settings once. Everybody finished? Neha, done. Shriyansh, Toshani. Yes, good, good, good. Now we have to add beautiful design on this lamp shade. Are you all ready to add beautiful design? Can you guess what are we going to add? Advika, yes, correct. Any guesses what we will add? Mm, I'll give you a little clue, okay. Mm, it swims in the water. What is it? It swims in the water. Fish, yes, Toshani, it's a fish. So we are going to draw, draw beautiful fish design here, but it is going to be simple fish design. Ready? Avantika, Diya, both of you are ready? Okay, let's see. All of you know how to draw triangle, right? Simple triangle, all of us know. We will start with the help of pencil. You can mark one triangle here after leaving two finger space from top of the lampshade. Basic triangle. Make sure it is little big, not very small. Okay, make sure this triangle is little big. It is not very small. You can use your hand only, okay. Here you have one more triangle, see. Super, super simple design. It looks like pizza slices, isn't it? But these are not pizza slices. You're not going to eat it. These are going to turn into beautiful fishes. Three fishes, as you can see. Children, make sure you have at least one one finger space behind to add tail for your fishes. Make sure fishes are placed slightly in the center of your lampshade so that you have enough space to add tail behind, right? So if you don't have enough space, you shift your fishes inside. These are three fishes and not pizza slices. Don't get confused. We are not going to eat this. These are cute little fishes. They are rotating in the circle and talking to each other. Okay, three fishes are coming in the center like a circle. How many of you form circles with your friends? When you need to talk in a big group, you form a circle, right? And then you talk to each other so that everybody can see each other. Same thing our fishes are doing. 
they are rotating or gathering in a circle very very good advika so 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 nice good job now how do you turn these into fishes triangles should turn into fishes are you all ready for next step harini sriram ready neha is ready anyone else who's ready advika is ready and toshal very nice toshal only three fishes not four because down here we have different plan we have different plan here so add only three fishes yes good job this is sriram sriram or harini who is this harini okay harini add only three fishes yes neha correct and shriyansh correct vedika also well done vedika very 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 good job okay now let's add eyes so over here to each of your fish you are going to add a circle and this fish is upside down so i will be here okay finished everyone toshal very good job toshani very good job neha finished okay now let's add a tail see tail for our fishes is very cute and funny today which looks like a small flower petals see how cute 1 2 3 okay 1 2 and 3 see same thing 1 2 and 3 so it looks so cute and lovely see how beautiful it looks yes very nice neha lovely good 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 job hello ayansh ayansh what do you see on the screen what do you think it is kya lag raha hai ye vedika draw of big fishes beta vedika little bit more fish bigger fish see this one looks like your fishes are not eating food only they have become so sukru chotu chotu they have become feed them something and make them fat make fishes fat vedika ayansh as you can see see i have written dimensions here this line is 10 cm this line is 14 this line is 14 okay and simply connect this is a beautiful lamp shade we are drawing today ayansh so you hold your paper vertical and you leave four finger space from top of the page okay leave only four finger space ayansh and then you start with lamp shade first now let's make cute little fins so to add fins we are just going to add one one curve even more cuter just one one curve for fins see how cute just one one curve and let's make our fishes super happy with a cute smile yay happy go lucky happy happy fishes all are smiling and saying something to each other okay ayansh leave four finger space from top of the page place your scale this line is 10 cm 
second line is 14 centimeters. This is also 14. And down here, no need to measure anything. Just connect. Okay. Down this line, just connect. Perfect. Neha, absolutely beautiful. Okay. Let's add eyeball. This you can do while you are bordering. Okay. Let's add eyeball. Cute, cute smiles. And our fishes are ready. This is a beautiful lampshade with fishes. And down here, as I was saying, Toshani, uh, sorry, Toshal, we have different plan. So we are adding little waves. Okay, just below your fishes, you start adding few waves so that our drawing part beautifully completes with something like a nice, underwater scenery design on top of this lampshade. So how do you like this? Is it looking nice? Toshani says, yes. Very, very cute, right? Thank you, Vedika. Ayansh, did you mark basic shape or no? Yes, finished. Now you add three fishes, stand, everything. Very good, Neha. Lovely. Also, we will be able to see bubbles in the water. So here and there, I'm going to add few circles. Okay, as I say, you can add few circles. See? So we have added few circles. We have waves in place, but we don't have any base for our lampshade. Base matla, we don't have any table or something where this uh, lampshade is kept. Okay, so take your scale and you mark one table line. So let's assume that this lampshade is kept on the side table of your bed. Would you like to have this kind of beautiful, beautiful looking lampshade next to you when you go to sleep? Like fishes swimming in the water is your lampshade. How lovely. So this looks like beautiful kids room design. Kids room design lampshade. So you just add a horizontal line and your lampshade and table is ready now. See how easy this was. Shriyansh, did you finish? Table line, circles, everything. Perfect. Now Toshani start bordering. It's looking very good. Advika, start bordering. Okay, those who have finished. Advika, see this line for your lampshade is slant. Can you see? Make it straight. Make this line straight, Advika. And this is Neha. Excellent. Good, good, good job, Neha. So nice. Border it now. Take your sketch pen marker. If you have permanent marker, Wherever you have used scale, all of you will use scale, please. Social, very beautiful work. Border it. Children, those who have used scale, wherever we have used scale, you must use scale along with your marker. Do not use your hand. Ayansh, you need to first mark three triangles, okay? See, mark three triangles like this, Ayansh and then turn those into fishes. This design is very, very simple. This design is so simple and add waves. Finally add waves and you're done. This design is very, very basic. You can see it and draw it. Three triangles. Make sure you have enough space to add tails so that make sure you have at least one, one finger space after your triangles so that you can fit tail. Shruti, uh, did you try uh, this video settings? Is it working for you, Shruti?
Everyone be slow. Harini, did you finish beta? Harini, what are you drawing? Did you finish this basic work? Come on, everyone, Sri Ram Harini. Everybody border it. Yes, I can see. See this line? By mistake, you've bordered. See, this is in the background, Harini. Can you see? Stand is in the front. Table is at the back. Be slow, slow. Observe. And then work, okay, Harini? Slow work, everybody work slowly. It is okay to be slow than doing your work too fast. Avantika, show what you have done so far. Show your work, Avantika. Okay, good, nice. Use your scale, wherever you have used scale, you must use your scale. See, we have to color this beautifully now. So for today's artwork, we are going to use oil pastels. Wow, Ayansh, that was quick and beautiful work. Good job. Ayansh, now border it. Use your scale for borders, okay? Basic lampshade should have sharp lines. Slow work, careful work, take your time, be patient. Okay, but after you border it, you need to clean your page. Erase pencil marks and nicely clean your page. See? See, like this, clean your page nicely, carefully. And we have to start with coloring work now. So for that, you need to be patient, finish your work nicely, border everything, including fishes, waves, circles, and then with eraser, clean your page nicely. Very good, Neha. First, we will start coloring with oil pastels, okay? First, we have to start with oil pastels. So be ready with your oil pastel box. Very nice. Toshani, how lovely. Super. Very, very good job, Toshani. 
it is pencil marks clean your page riyanch also lovely how wonderful all of you have done super work today very very good job students finish it nicely then we will start with coloring work now okay so first color that we are going to pick is yellow that is lemon yellow and pink okay we need two colors first color is lemon yellow which is shade number 236 okay take shade number Okay, so we will take lemon yellow color first. Now I'll uh, show you a little bit of shading here. You have to start with lemon yellow, shade number two three six, only halfway into your fish like this. See, only halfway into your first fish like this. This is lemon yellow. Okay, shade number two three six. Just in case, if you don't have lemon yellow, you can take any other shade of yellow. Then you take pink color. and then you start coloring half of your fish in pink so what will happen pink and lemon yellow will mix together if it is not mixing you just have to mix colors by pushing colors into each other see see how pretty this is looking yellow and pink color for your fish and you have to do same thing for tail also halfway it is yellow and halfway it is 341 pink color lemon yellow and pink color for your beautiful looking fishes so this is our first combination in the fish pink and yellow pink and yellow this is pink color and yellow color for your wonderful looking fish hello jay okay jay now first since drawing part is almost over i will write dimensions here for you first line is 10 cm this one okay so you take help little bit help is required second line that you see here is 14 14 14 use your scale you have to use your scale this line that you see slant line is also 40 so first you start with four after leaving four finger space from top of the page start with your first line this one 10 cm leave four finger space from top of the page and you start with your first line this one okay jay okay this is your first combination for the fish for your second combination of the fish it is pink mouth and purple body so we are changing this combination into pink mouth same pink you have to take okay see this much as it is pink and then you take purple you can take normal violet color whichever normal violet color you have if you have shade number 451 you can use that Four, five, one. So our second fish is pink and purple. We have changed combination into pink and purple for our second fish. First fish is yellow and pink. Second fish is pink and purple. Same thing you have to do for tail. is pink and purple as you can see 
over here we are drawing a beautiful lamp shade so follow dimensions chair just mark this lamp shade take help from someone elder okay 10 centimeters 14 14 last line you just have to connect don't measure anything this line just connect don't measure anything over here okay then you have one more fish for your one more fish over here we are going to take orange color for the face orange face this is normal orange color 283 orange oh we forgot to color fins wait purple fins Okay, this is orange 283, orange color. 283, orange. Tail also little bit orange. And then body is in red color. So our third fish is in orange and red color. So whichever orange you have, you can take. And whichever red you have you can take and color your last fish in orange and red combination so we have pink yellow fish pink purple fish orange and red fish see how lovely and if colors are not mixing you have to just rub your finger through to mix colors you need to mix colors properly if colors are not mixing, lightly rub your finger to mix colors. See how pretty our fishes are looking so cute, isn't it? Colorful fishes and beautiful fishes. Jay, show me what you've done so far. Show your drawing. Hold your paper up, Jay. Let's see. Yay. Okay, almost finished. That was quick, Jay. How lovely. So Shani, good job. Well, Ayansh also, well done. Ayansh, so Shani, good job. Now let's take light blue color and start coloring this lampshade in light blue. Till you reach waves, okay? Till you reach waves, you have to color this lampshade in light blue, shade number two, three, nine. Slow, slow work. Okay, everyone. Shri Anj work slowly. Toshal, Harini and Sri Ram. Also Neha, slow work. Everyone in the class. Vedika also. Press your crayon, everyone. Finish one, one color. In one, one go. Finish all fishes. Then you start with lampshade's background color, which is light blue color. Shade number two, three, nine. Do not color into bubbles and do not color into fishes. This is just our background color. Only background color is in light blue color because this is water, right? How will fishes live without water? All fishes will die. So we have to show this in blue color. So consider this as beautiful aquarium lampshade. How many of you have seen aquariums? Anybody visited any aquarium? Many of you, right? So you will see different, different types of fishes there. Big fishes, small fishes, gold. Many times, tiger fish, catfish, jellyfish, sea, horse, frogs, turtles. So many types. So many types of fishes and so many types of sea animals, sea creatures. So slow work, if any white gaps anywhere, you have to finish this entire until you reach waves to light blue color. Again, I repeat shade number is 239. Just in case if you don't have same shades, you can use any other shades, no problem. If same number is not there with you, you take some 
other number or other shade of any blue color. See, this much we have finished. <coughs> In light blue color, okay? Slow work, okay, Jay? Be slow. Dust off all flakes if you're getting any flakes anywhere. <coughs> then you have some stripes going on here, right? So leave the first one and the second one you color it in light blue. Be like this. It is same light blue color that we've taken. And we've colored this in light blue. If you're getting flakes, dust off all flakes. <coughs> now you can take dark blue color. Okay, so you can take Russian blue or ultramarine blue, whichever dark blue you have. And do you see this part of my wave? I will color it in dark blue color. Very good, Toshani. So here I'm taking Prussian blue color. Shade is 351. Okay, also if you have last wave, <clears throat> this will also be in Prussian blue, 351. So it is light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark blue, basically. This is alternate coloring pattern. <clears throat> See how pretty this is looking. Now I will just erase these numbers again. Okay, now let's color stand. Stand should be colored in which color? What do you think? We should color this stand in which color, students? We will color this stand in <clears throat> orange color. Okay, so you can take orange. Okay, we will color this in <clears throat> two shades basically, orange. Halfway orange and halfway yellow. <clears throat> so this is normal orange color 
and this is medium yellow color normal orange and medium yellow okay i have used normal orange color that is 283 and medium yellow color 256 now dust off all your flakes nicely clean your page same yellow color we are going to use here for top part of the stand same yellow <clears throat> and same orange same yellow and same orange color so half way it is yellow half way it is orange see orange and yellow combination okay i will repeat shade numbers 283 orange and 256 medium yellow okay so this is finished now we have to color background only background color is remaining now for that we are going to use our water colors okay even if you are still coloring you have to color slowly i can see harini is coloring with so much of patience well done harini <clears throat> diya your artwork is looking very nice good job diya toshani also well done shriyansh very very good superb nice coloring good job shriyansh very nice diya also very nice very very good students now let's color background color are you all ready to color background how many of you are ready advika neha neha finished neha I like your clips today no that's hair band it's very cute <clears throat> Are you all ready? Toshal, Shruti, Vedika, Ayansh, Shriyansh, both of you. Harini, Sri Ram, Avantika, Diya. Vedika is getting bored. <laughs> okay, Vedika. Nice. <clears throat> Chalo. Our background color is going to be in light green color. <clears throat> our background color is. light green color so you have to add water to your light green if you have any light green see this is my first cake color so i'm adding water to my light green <clears throat> wall color is going to be green okay so this is our wall correct this entire wall it is in light green color till you reach table so you start coloring light green into your background with straight straight lines if you don't have water colors you can use oil pastels okay any light green color from any medium is okay just use light green into your background color see okay if you don't have water colors you can continue using your oil pastels no problem so whatever medium you have 
you can use if you have thick colors you can use light green color yes this is paint correct <clears throat> these are watercolor paints that we are using now for background coloring okay i'm using my brush and watercolor cakes <clears throat> see slowly carefully slowly carefully you color this in light green color if you are using oil pastels it is shade number 240 240 maintain one stroke while coloring your background see entire background in light green color <clears throat> toshal very nice and uh, diya also very good diya nahi avantika very very good now start with light green color in the background light green <coughs> and now we will take brown color and we will color table in brown okay once you finish with your wall color then you start with your table color which is in brown color okay so you can take darkest brown from your watercolor palette and start coloring table in light oh, sorry dark brown color see add horizontal lines when you are coloring it is most convenient to color table wall with just one stroke do not change your direction while coloring so use horizontal line stroke which means your brush is moving into horizontal lines see <clears throat> jay did you start coloring or no show how much you finished jay okay you've started be slow be slow don't be in rush do not scribble color slowly slowly color small small patches do not target large area okay entire table is in brown color as you can see here nice dark brown i have taken and color table in brown see how pretty you have this beautiful lamp shade kept on the table wall is in light green color your lamp is in <clears throat> aquarium theme with beautiful fishes waves in the background and bubbles So how is it looking? Do you all like it? Is it looking nice? How many of you like it? One last step is remaining. Don't leave. Okay. One last step is still remaining. <clears throat> Very good, Toshal. It's looking so pretty. Lovely. Good job. Now fan it. Let it dry. Let's all fan it. Ayansh, did you finish? Shivansh, no, sorry, Shriyansh, did you finish? Harini, Sri Ram, Neha, Advika is coloring beautifully. Good job, Advika. Shruti, later on you share your work with me, okay?
<clears throat> let's all fan this so that we can do our last step. Slow, slow work. Everybody work slowly, carefully, let it dry. Only then we will be able to move to our last step for today's class. Okay, so like this, you can also design different, different themes on your lampshades. For example, we have taken fish theme. You can take flower theme. You can also take butterfly theme. You can take cars theme. If you like football, you can take football theme. Or there are so many different, different cartoons available. You can make cartoon on the lampshade, which becomes a cartoon lampshade, isn't it? So I want all of you to explore a little bit on your own. So create a lampshade and add your own design. How many of you would like to add your own design on the lampshade next time? Toshani, Neha also. So will you all try this little exercise at home? Whenever possible, create one lampshade and add your own design. Okay, it will look so, so nice. Use your imagination and add one more design. Very good. Shriyansh, well done. Okay, let background dry. We have to add one last step to our artwork. <clears throat> okay, those who have finished with painting, you can just fan it so that it dries quickly. Sriram Harini, both of you, are you both coloring? Sriram Harini, I can see beautiful wall painting you've done on your walls. There are so many drawings there. How lovely. When I was a child, I was not allowed to draw on the, uh, on the wall. You all are so lucky. You are so, so, so lucky that you can paint the whole wall the way you want. How lovely. You've done, I can see some human figures, some children dancing on that wall. Will you send me a photo of that wall later, Sri Ram Harini? I would like to see what you've done on the wall. Yes. Okay. Okay, my green color is not drying at all. It is taking so long to dry. <clears throat> Okay, all we have left is with just dot work, which is the background dot work, but let it dry. Just wait for two more minutes. It has to dry, otherwise it will spoil my painting. Okay, those of you, uh, those who have used oil pastels in the background, you will be able to do this step without <clears throat> checking if this is dried or not dried. Now, whenever I ask you to do dots, see, there is a particular way of doing dots. Okay, if you see me, I don't do random dots. So I've seen whenever I ask you to do any dots, all of you do too much random things. So I will teach you how to do proper polka dot pattern in the background. Okay, so you get proper dots. You put your scale and you start creating one line of black dots just above your scale. You can use your crayon or you can use your marker, whatever you have or whatever you're comfortable with. You create one straight line with dots. Okay, lift your skin. 
okay proper way of doing dots one full line of just black dots you can put your scale as your guideline and then you mark dots at equal distance okay equal distance visually you just have to mark it at equal distance okay now in between two dots you have to add one in between two i don't have space in between two here i can add one so this way you have to create a pattern over here okay in between two dots i will add one down see in between two dots here down one and continue with this kind of pattern which is called as polka dot pattern okay in between two one in between two one that should be your pattern okay whenever i ask you all of you do too many random dots that does not look like any pattern or any systematic way of doing dots so whenever i ask you that you create polka dot pattern you should be able to create it this way okay i will show you on a rough paper to make it simpler for you see one full line dots first see get in between two add one in between two one in between two one and keep on doing so in between two one dot in between two down one dot here also you can add right so this is called as polka dot pattern alternate okay alternate way of putting your dots but in this case what is happening your object is coming in between so you just have to see in between two one then i can add one here in between two one in between two one and so on okay understood this is called as polka dot pattern okay so do your dotted pattern in the systematic way which is called as polka dot pattern and this is how you complete your entire wall with dots so it's a beautiful wallpaper going on in the background and then you have lamp and the table and our class work is over so how do you like this is it looking nice beautiful now more prettier now yes when you add dots or some interesting pattern in the background it starts looking so beautiful if any color is gone on top of your fishes you just scrape it with your pencil Okay, little little finishing touches. You have to pay attention to finishing, neatness of your work. Everything is important here. It is so 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 important that your artwork looks neat, clean, and beautiful. So always pay attention to all these things. See, this is how our beautiful artwork is ready. Advika, it's looking so nice, lovely. Good job, beta. Lovely. Good job, Advika. Superb. Okay, children. Whenever you are sending me photos for display, please click your photos against plain wall so that I can crop your photos perfectly and put it on the display. Okay. So those who are going to send me photos, please click your photos against plain wall, and I will see you all in the. next class before i leave i will unmute you and before that i will stop recording for this class